Fry and or How Black many Norway. people have heard that court is going to be at 7? Now, I'm a court junk. I like to sit through court over 30 some years of sitting through court, but you know, you have to be present to win. Um, so I would get there, and because I wanted pictures and I'm going deaf and you know it, I'd sit in the front row. And I'd look at the clock, and I'd wonder, what happened to that king and queen? Why aren't they here? They said seven o'clock. Having been a head waiting and waiting, I do know what happens. And so what's going on is the cash show. I come up here, those of you of my age know Ed McMahon. The cash show is the Ed McMahon of the Art of Music Art. So you in yellow, come on up here. Oh dear. Yes. Yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, you have to run fast and hide hard. There are lots of people who will not come to court early because I might pick on them. What is your name, my dear? I am Lucia. I am not Sophie. I'm related to Sophie. Not the same person. Not orange. Lucia the yellow. Not the <laughs> yellow. Hi, Casimir. Ah. Uh, Casimir up. Yeah. Casimir ah. Yeah. And. Come from what kingdom? Right here. I am in the middle of the middle of the middle. No, you have to stand right there. Now you're in the middle. Okay. Oh. And what is your favorite thing to do in the SCA? This. You right like here. To perform. Well, okay. This being the kingdom anthem sing alongs. The kingdom anthem sing alongs. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so we've already heard the Middle Kingdom anthem at another time yes. period. Yes, yes. And um, so besides singing Kingdom anthems, mm -hmm. what else, what is the most fun moment you've had since you have, have arrived on site? On site? Um, oh my goodness. There, there, are, there are so many of them. But I will say, watching the chariot races archery that was over there yesterday. And I hear there will be some at 6 p.m. tonight. <gasps> Yay! I, I heard that because one of our archers is going to be, Ooh. Jonathan is going to be shooting. So, yes. Yay. And so, how many of you people, we don't have any newcomers, do we? One of the other things that I've been accused of is teaching beginning courtly graces. Now, when we start court, and there's always new people, so would you pretend you're a new person oh. and sit down in the front row? And I will ask... I'm the king. It says so. Oh, okay. I will ask, who is new? And they will be shoved up by their friends because they very rarely volunteer. And what, could you stand up please? Could I have a gentleman to escort this fine lady? <laughs> gentleman! <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> and, and so now, if just in case, I didn't call you up yet, <laughs> just in case you would be called up by the king, I'm going to teach you how to do this. Now, all of the rest of you already know how to do this, or should. But if you've forgotten, I won't embarrass you. I'll let the newcomers show us. Okay, every, you would every, come up and you would stand. Course. And then to come into the royal presence, you would either bow or curtsy. And then you would come up the steps. And if there are pillows, you would bow again in front of the pillows and then kneel. Yeah, but they're paid for. <laughs> and then the king and queen, or baron and baroness, or whoever is crazy enough to be up here with a hat, would say something very nice and welcome you. And then they would give you an indication that it was time to stand up. And then you're still facing them. You would bow or curtsy. And then you would walk three steps or there, backwards. Home. 
and, and then you could turn around so you don't fall. And then you would bow and curtsy to exit the royal presence, and you would go back to your seat. Now, by teaching people how to do this, the other people who have forgotten have already had their reminder. She's not looking at me. I want you up here. <laughs> And there are peers who will just not appear at court <laughs> because I pick on them. Would you please come and join me? And what is your name? Mistress Annalita Falconbridge. Annalita Falconbridge, and where are you from? I'm from the East. You are from the East. You know, this is the 50th anniversary of the SEA. But the founders for me, the people who were beginning to play, was this young lord, Ryan of Tarragon. And I had the honor of being at his, the battle where he won his first crown. And so he and Duchess Anna and two people who were the uh, early prince and princess were sitting in our encampment yesterday. And it was my Founder's Day, and it was just so wonderful. They are so wonderful. Yes. Okay, and you are from the East. I am. And what is your favorite thing to do in the SEA, besides the fact that you dress beautifully? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. My favorite thing to do in the SEA is actually very much what you are doing in the SEA. Ah. Which is indeed in treat folks like Lucia to make a joyful noise. Like, uh, like, yay! Yeah, well, that's among them, or perhaps about <laughs> uh, <laughs> period rounds to groups during lulls before and after court. Okay, uh, I perform and I sing uh, the Eastern Army on to the battlefield on stage. Fantastic! And I have to ask about. Are those snails? They are snails. <laughs> this is my heraldry. Snails You're winged, winged snails from the Copenhagen Chancellor. There are marginalia in the Copenhagen Chancellor. There are a lot of very weird ones. There's like a man blowing a snail trumpet, and there are a whole bunch of other really strange things. But the flying snails, uh, and these stars are the emblem of the Northern Army. Look at that S car go. Indeed. <laughs> it does. Yes. <laughs> And you have been a lady today? No, those aren't roses. No, so the trillium is our, my house, this is my household side and my own side. Okay. So the household side. Wait a second, once more. That's your back side. The best side. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, yeah, so my household, Thanet, is a household or which originated in Atlantia. And my grand peers are actually in camp with this event as well. So this is a very good time for me to be here. But this is the emblem of the knight of our household, the knight of the lady. And so upon the elevation of one of our squires to the knighthood last year, we all completed that which we had spoken of for many years, which was we will all have heraldic curls. And, um, so miles and miles of checking were constructed by those who sew, and I encouraged all of them greatly. <laughs> and are you the only one to have a snail on a herd of turtles? Yes. Oh. <laughs> 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 must have Although my sister, my apprentice sister, is also a snail, but she's German, and so she is a schnecker. A what? A schnecker. Which is a big swirl, but it's the big German heraldic snail. Schnecke. Schnecke. Our s snails are related to slugs, right? Slugs came after. They're actually more evolved than snails. Which is like they have the low cost housing, right? Yes. Yes. It's okay. true. <laughs> and very bad in a hurricane, I guess. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us up here. My great pleasure. Nice to meet you. Does anyone else have something they'd like to share with this group? Come on up here. <laughs> you don't realize who you're picking up. Anyone? <laughs> I tell you what, 
paid volunteers. <laughs> All right. Well, you're going to leave. I'm boring you to death. Oh. Time for lunch. We do have our priorities. I also became a cook. Um, you're from Atlantia. Do you know who Sheerhart and Jean are? Okay, they're from Bright Hills. Oh, I heard a yes. Hi, Dale. You know Sherhart and John? Come on up here. <laughs> <laughs> Way back in Monday in 1981, I was working with John mundanely, and she says we do this thing. So they are the people who brought me into this group. And your name? I am Mistress Tears of the Rebos. Tears of Fifth Rebo. Tears of. Tears of. Not tears of. <laughs> tears of. Tears of. Okay. By the Rebos. And what's a Rebos? Those are Bode River Bridges. That's it's vocation. also, yes, and it's also a way to say Rebo. My daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. And what part of Atlantia are you from? I no. Well, I was I was born in Atlantia. Okay. I found this wonderful gathering of people in on Seora and returned to my home in Atlantia and it was kidnapped across the border uh, to the east. Okay. Yes. But Bright Hills indeed. I do know, it, well, my first Pensac War I encamped with a group that doesn't exist, Barony of Cookwood. Oh my, that long ago, the Hobbit welcomed me to the ladies' pavilion at Pensac 13. And that was Baron Brooks' final Pensac, oh, although he still was. Okay. And what would you like to tell this crowd? What would I like to tell this crowd? <laughs> uh, tell us anything we want to talk about. Oh, well, I will tell you that my first event was the knighting of Sir Sith Ironhand, the first lady knight of Monsteora. Ah, and a fine day it was, and the next morning, I have the fondness of memories, my first camping event in Anstiora, to be hearing from Sir Sis Boyce and surfing Kelly O'Donnell saying, I think that's a scorpion in my boot. <laughs> down from the throne of Anstiora. And that was fine, except for that's when I met the ants of Anstiora. Mm -hmm. the, ants? the ants, that is to say the red ants, the nasty evil ants that they go out to the site the weekend before to destroy as many of these creatures as they can find where they are nasty. But people I was just getting to know, uh, Yolo Fitzowen, who later became the first master don of Anseora. And That's a dinosaur. Yes, yeah. indeed. Uh, and his dear lady Gwendolyn, and a young lady that he was his apprentice, Yamak, were in a pavilion, a small little pavilion. And they were awakened in the middle of the night to learn that apparently the nest was here, the food was here, whatever happened, the little ants had trooped across their bellies and they had little red trails of bites all across them. They got out of the tent, they found some place to shelter. The next day they were sweeping out 
this jeep of ants from the tent. <laughs> Welcome to camping in Ulsteora. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that wonderful, wonderful story. And so at, yes, come on up. It's recording. Oh, I got my phone. Oh, I think it's recording. Ah, I'm on YouTube. Wasn't the right lyric. You know how it is. If you Google Bob Seeker, you find all sorts of things. <laughs> but in this case, uh, 